good Thursday morning everybody been up for a couple hours and sitting out here on the porch nice and cool this morning 73 with a breeze for right now not bad you a little warmer than this got a bunch of stuff to do today got to go to town got to meet with some folks and do some things get a few groceries for the house I've been watching several homestead channels prepper channels I mentioned this the other day talking about the weather and how things have changed now we've been here well over 30 years and the Sun has always came up right there straight that way and shine right straight on the house that's due east right there the last couple of years sun right see it's over there so uh something has happened the sun is not where it used to be uh, my friends over at deep south homestead danny says the same thing over his place the sun has never shined into his back door but it is now and if y'all watch danny y'all know he's um talked about where he parks his truck the sun never hit that one spot but it is now well it's the same thing over here i mean the sun comes right there shine right on the house that's why when i put this door in when i built this room we put the uh, the little tiny window door in there instead of a big window because the way the sun is shining and uh it's just strange to me that it's instead of being there now it's over there but uh one of them things there goes a plane up there i don't know if you can see it way up there a lot of people talking about the chemtrails i used to think that was a bunch of baloney but uh i don't know the way people are sick everywhere and all this stuff going on we've got bugs here that i've never seen before the last four or five years i mean never seen these kind of bugs before those little snails that i fussed about in the garden last year we'd never had those until last year i think and they're back this year so something to maybe look into i'm going to try to start doing a little research on that reading and See, and if y'all know any good spots to look for stuff like that, like the solar minimum and all that, uh, drop me a link. Let me know where y'all look. Because all I know about it is what I've heard from other people. Anyway, just thought I'd tell y'all good morning. I'm going to have this cup of coffee right here. And uh, rouse mama up and we'll get dressed and head off to town. Might get some shop work done this afternoon. It might not. It depends on how long it takes up there. See y'all later. Alright y'all, Thursday afternoon. Spent most of the day in, up in town this morning. I did figure out what happened with all the paperwork and all that nonsense. Gonna get fixed, but it's funny they can take from you today. It's their mistake, they cannot give it back to you till later. Overcharge me a bunch of stuff. And I'm just so mad about it, I don't know what to do. But oh well, there ain't nothing I can do. But just wait and wait and wait. Let me get fixed. Now this is the sheath for the Lee Chef knife. I'm going to rivet this one together. This is not an everyday carry knife or anything like that. It's a kitchen knife. So I've got my handy dandy little rivets here. Let's do that one on the floor. Now these rivets, you snap them in place. Take the little tool, put 
and that sets them into place. Tap it a little bit more. There we go. Now I'll put there'll be one more right up in here somewhere when I get the get the knife in there and get it get oiled up and get it except where I want it, like this. One more over here somewhere, we'll tighten that just a little bit so it'll stay tight. Because this is just to keep it in the door. If you reach in the door, you don't grab a sharp blade after it's sharp, which would be short. I went as long as I could go yesterday and I had to come in. I am not 100% yet, but close enough. Right, there are my rivets. I'll put them away in a minute. Uh, what else? And I'm going to get these done up. I'm going to dark handle so I stain them with a dark stain. And that dried overnight and I'll put the gloss coat on there in a minute and I'll show you those. That'll probably be tomorrow for I'll finish those. I get the get the finish on today anyway. I hope. Uh, what else? If anything else comes up, I'll show y'all in a little bit. I'm just uh, on my head. Not much company today. I am just so disgusted with people that cannot do their jobs, if you know what I mean. Just, there, uh, oh well. Be back with this here in a little bit. We'll see what it looks like. All right, let me show y'all something that happens sometimes. Especially on these bigger knives. The more I looked at this knife, the more I looked at the finish that I had on there, which is a, it's a ferric chloride finish, the more I didn't like it. Uh, had a couple spots in it here and there. It just did not look like I wanted it to look. So what I did, I stripped it off with some two whatever sandpaper, whatever sand I'm built in. Very, very fine sandpaper. Very smooth. It is sharp. Okay, it's all ready for final stroking and all that. But what I'm going to do, it's going to take me about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Extra, but I don't care. I'm just gonna. If it's not right, it does not leave this shop. If I'm not happy with it, you might not be happy with it. So, I'm going to re etch this. I'm gonna do a mustard etch and I'm gonna try to make it look like Damascus. And um, I'll go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do that real quick. Hang on, let me get my stuff. We're going to that high-tech, very complicated chemical substance known as mustard. Let's see, let's turn the camera down here. Now I want me a squiggly line like that. like that. Move it on the end. A little bit right there maybe. Just here and there. Turn it over and do the same thing. Okay. I 
just kept looking at it and I got irritated at it and irritated at me. And there we go, there's my squiggly lines. Maybe a little bit on the back. Yes, the cuts. Now what this mustard will do, mustard is basically vinegar. Now that vinegar is going to leave lines in it, marks. Now uh, the one you seen yesterday, uh, Brandon's knife, it's the same way. It's got, it is a mustard etch, mustard and ferric chloride. The camera won't show it, but when you look at it, it's got a hint of maybe Damascus, even though it's not. I'm going to let this sit for about 30, 45 minutes, and I'm going to wash it good. And then I'm going to re-dip it in ferric chloride and buff it out good. And it should look much, much, much better. Now the quality of it, as far as using and cutting, was fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just didn't like, I just didn't like the way the fingers come out. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, that happens sometimes. It just, that's the way it is. And while this is doing, I will get back to work on these other ones. But, uh, good stuff right there. Now, we'll let that do its thing. A bunch of y'all ask about where's Master Sergeant. Talked to him the last couple of days. He's doing fine. He is busy with some other stuff. And he'll be back over here as soon as he can. Life happens to everybody. We all get things that come up that you gotta do and things happen and all that kind of stuff. So he'll be back. He's doing fine. Thank you very much. I'm sure he thanks you too. Speaking of Master Sergeant. Uh, still got this one. Still got the Master Sergeant pouch in pink. Come on, Douglas. Still got it. You fellows who got a wife, a girlfriend, or sister, your mom, somebody that you need a birthday present for, Christmas, uh, not Christmas, birthday, or gift just to say, hey, here's you something cool. One more. $50. And that goes to Master Sergeant. I keep forgetting to show it there. There you go. Or if you're very secure in your manhood, you can carry it yourself. So, I'm not. You know. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back and show you this one here in a little bit. Good Friday morning, everybody. It's about daylight. That clock's wrong. Got to put a battery in it. Got this redone yesterday afternoon. Went in, was going to have supper, so I'll come back out after supper. <laughs> I ate supper and that was it. I wasn't getting up out of that chair again. I'm going to finish this one up. I uh, sent out some emails, except me, I didn't send you one yet, but uh, 
Got some knives going out today. This one will go out today. I just about buffed my lines out as I did with the mustard, but I'm satisfied. That's very that's a good finish. Much, much better than what it was. So I'll touch up the sharpness here in a little bit. And might even take y'all to the post office with me this morning. finished buffing this now. I'll see y'all shortly. Right quick, somebody asked me in a comment about these filters on the fan that I use. Maybe you can see that. It's not too dark over here. That is a 20 inch by 20 inch by 1 inch. Now I get these in a package of, I think it's 4 for like $2.80, something like that at the big Walmart Chinese in place and they fit the back of a box fan just fine and I take one little piece of duct tape and stick right there so that's the size filter hang on I'm gonna turn you sideways right there all right now I'm going to get another cup of coffee that's one thing I need for the shop that I don't have is a good coffee pot. I think there's an extra in the house. All right, y'all, let's go to the post office. I know that background noise, that's the air conditioner wide open in the truck. That background noise y'all hear in the shop, some people have mentioned, that is the fans and the air conditioner. Uh, somebody told me once it don't sound very professional. Well, I'm not a professional camera person just me doing what I do. So, maybe the noise don't bother you too bad. Uh, let's see, I'll tell you a little story. We saw it on the news this morning, right here, right up here. I'll show you, I'll point at it when we get there. The young man had been missing for several days. He left his house right around here somewhere on his motorcycle. Never showed back up. Now the 28th, I think it was. I think on the 4th, 4th of July, they found him right here, right here at this little intersection. Somehow his motorcycle ran off the road. The motorcycle wound up in the woods right there. He was laying over there for four days, three or four days, nobody saw him. I don't know who found the body, but that's just so sad. I didn't know him. I didn't know some people down that way. That's just so sad. That nobody seemed to hurt it when it happened. And that's just all the more reason to be careful. Goodness. And I personally am scared to death of a motorcycle. I always have been. I rode a dirt bike around the woods a little bit when I was a kid. You don't always have to worry about other people. You gotta worry about losing control of them things. Which just bad things happen. Anyway, I'm gonna get up here to the post office uh, before the rain gets here. Thunderstorms building back off to the south. You can see it coming. We've had rain every single day for the last couple of weeks, except one day. My son-in-law cut the grass the other day. It's almost time to cut it again already. I'm not cutting until I get my new part for the mower, and uh, that'll be another video. I'll show you how to fix one of them things. It should be pretty straightforward, but yeah, a lot of projects are supposed to be straightforward and turn into fiascos. But this is going to do it for this one. I'm going to finish up a couple knives today. Uh, the Damascus neck knives I told you all about, they will be available probably tomorrow and buddy William yours will be finished by the end of the weekend and I thought that guy was going to pull out there and stop and I got three or four more that's in the works almost done I'll show you all on that on a different video I'm 
almost back to sort of almost maybe a little bit normal. So I just keep going and we'll keep doing what we do. Boss them on the half shell. navigate this corner without getting hit or hitting somebody. Alright, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will see you later.